Namaste, Sitara, a pleasant good morning. Welcome to Budraya. I'm your host, Nisha Sharma. And Budraya is being brought to you with the kind compliments of Maharujadev Mandir. And of course, the Mandir is located at 850 Tapscott Road, Unit 34 in Scarborough, with Tapscott and McNichol being our closest intersection. So today, I just want to start off by wishing you all a very happy new year as we begin this year, 2020. So without further ado, we'll join our spiritual leader, Pandit Ravi Sharma, for our Pravachan. Enjoy. <music> आगे चले बहुरेर गुराया रिश्यमु कपरवदनिया राया जय राम श्री राम जय Objective that I would keenly always be listening properly, or at least try to pay attention. I try to memorize the different than the various tune that uh, we would sing. And so, in uh, when we have wonderful drummers like this, we try to preserve back what we've been taught. Yeah. And one devotee had said that, "Oh, Opanaji, I like that tune. Like what we just sing, and this is just a regular tune that we sang." You know, more than 40, 50 years ago. He wrote his advice, he said, it's no difference. So then I said, to her, okay, nice. She said, to her, Pandaji, also, that, you see, when I dead, I ain't want to hear no dead bhajan. That's number one. <laughs> I ain't want to hear no dead Ramayana. So I said, what is a dead bhajan? <laughs> <laughs> and what is dead Ramayana? <laughs> also, I myself don't even know what it is. He said, I'm kind of, you know, dragon tuna. But this is thing that when you only hear, as I was telling some devotees, when you only hear, immediately you're running because you don't have funeral and self passing. Devotees the same that we were singing then is the same that we are singing now. No difference what we sang then, or no difference that what we are singing even now. So then when she said, oh, this is kind of dead bhajan. I said, well, what kind of dead bhajan? I said, oh, what do you want me to sing? He said, well, I want, you know, all kind of different chatti music. <laughs> Play that. I said, well, then you might have a cup on the Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> because me coming. <laughs> they were like joking. Huh? What I'm simply saying is that listen, in time like that, you need to have God's name, really and truly. You know, then you have not succeeded, you have not ascended in the ladder of spirituality, if you will say something like that. Huh? Devotees, we are all here to uplift ourselves. I'm not telling you don't have a good time. I'm not telling you don't dance, and I'm not telling you don't enjoy yourself. Uh, devotees, but there's a time and place, uh, circumstance. Deshakala, uh, avasthiti, avasara. 
Time, please, and circumstance. So. Kotum Shamal Gaur Shari Solutions. Sam and his team have been providing quality temporary staffing to various companies throughout the GTA since 2001. We have competitive rates, we take care of all your recruitment needs and payroll cost, and we provide transportation. Our friendly and knowledgeable recruiters are here to assist you, whether you are looking for permanent or temporary employees, for industrial or office needs. So call us now at 647-693-7745 or visit our website at www.extrastaffing.ca Papa kete hai var naam karega And of course, last episode, and which was last year, we spoke about self-reflection and we spoke about New Year resolutions. And I know 
two of the, 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 the most important resolutions that most of us make is that we're going to lose weight. So that means visiting the gym more frequently. And also that we are going to be more spiritual. So we're going to be visiting our menders more regularly. So please, at least if, you are, if, if you're not keeping the other resolution for losing weight, please do increase your spirituality. And of course, we would love to see you right here at Maha Rujadiv Mandir for one of our services. And now we'll join our own Dr. Sachin Ramki soon for our health segment. Sitaram and welcome to Health Corner. I am Dr. Sachin Ramkasun, and today is the second in our four-part series on hypertension. Last week, we discussed how common hypertension is, how our blood normally circulates around the body, and what the two numbers in the blood pressure mean. Today, we will discuss what hypertension is and why it is dangerous. Our blood pressure is meant to go up or down depending on many factors. For example, being scared, stressed, or in pain will cause a temporary rise in blood pressure. But then it normally goes back down to the normal range when the stressor is gone. Our blood pressure even varies by time of day or depending on our mood. Hypertension is when the blood pressure in the arteries is consistently high and does not go down to normal levels. This natural variability of the blood pressure is why you need a series of blood pressure readings over time to accurately diagnose hypertension. Your family physician will usually schedule a series of blood pressure readings over time to get an accurate picture. Alternatively, this can be done at home with a series of blood pressure readings, which we will be discussing in the next episode. If the readings are higher than 140 over 90, then this is defined as hypertension. In those that are diabetic, this threshold for diagnosis is even lower at 130 over 80. There are two main types of hypertension, essential hypertension and secondary hypertension. Essential hypertension is the form of high blood pressure where there is no single identifiable cause. It is the most common type of hypertension and accounts for 95% of hypertensive patients. Essential hypertension is a complex interaction between genetic predisposition and environmental factors. Secondary hypertension is high blood pressure that results from an identifiable cause. In other words, there is another medical condition that is causing the blood pressure to be consistently high. Another specific type of hypertension occurs in pregnancy, and this is called gestational hypertension. There are certain risk factors that are associated with developing hypertension. The factors that we cannot change include increasing age, race, and family history. As discussed in our previous episode, certain ethnicities have a higher chance of developing hypertension, such as the African, Filipino, South Asian, and West Indian populations. The risk factors that we can change include being overweight or obese, not being physically active, smoking, using too much salt in your diet, excessive alcohol intake, and high levels of stress. The danger of hypertension is that the blood pressure can be very high or high for a long time and there are no symptoms that you feel. You simply do not know that the blood pressure is high. This is why hypertension is often called the silent killer. Uncontrolled high blood pressure can affect many organs of the body, leading to some serious medical conditions. It can cause heart attacks and strokes by hardening the arteries. It can cause the heart to become thickened, leading to eventual heart failure. Hypertension can cause rupture of the large blood vessels in the chest or the abdomen. A very common consequence of hypertension is the damage of the small vessels of the kidney, leading to kidney failure. It also damages the small blood vessels in the eye, leading to vision loss. Hypertension is also associated with diabetes, which is very common in our population. Lastly, hypertension can affect our memory and can even cause dementia as we get older. There are many serious consequences of prolonged high blood pressure, 
and so it is key that we monitor ourselves for this condition. Next week we will discuss how to properly measure our blood pressure and take charge of our own health. Thank you for joining me on Health Corner and I look forward to speaking with you again next week on Rudraya. Sam Samunder Extra Staffing Solutions Sam and his team have been providing quality temporary staffing to various companies throughout the GTA since 2001. We have competitive rates, we take care of all your recruitment needs and payroll cost, and we provide transportation. Our friendly and knowledgeable recruiters are here to assist you, whether you are looking for permanent or temporary employees, for industrial or office needs. So call us now at 647-693-7745 or visit our website at www.extrastaffing.ca. My dear viewers, we are at the corporate segment of Rudraya, so we'll now join our host, Kamalji, from Lotus Funeral Home. Sitram and Namaste. My name is Kamal Bardwaj, and I'm the owner of Lotus Funeral and Cremation Center in Toronto and Kitchener Funeral Homes and Crematorium in Kitchener. I'm also a licensed funeral director. If you are incapacitated and the end of life and unable to communicate with the doctors or loved ones, Will they know what your wishes for end-of-life care? Will they make the same decisions you would make for your care? You can ensure that your end-of-life care is handled the way you want it to be handled by writing your preferences using advanced directives. Advanced directives are documents that instruct your loved ones and medical caregivers how you would like your end-of-life care to be handled. A living will is a written document that indicates your desires for medical treatment if you cannot communicate. For example, you can instruct in your living will to have the support with feeding tube. Power of attorney for healthcare. This written document designates who you would like to make medical decisions for you. If you cannot make them for yourself, do not resuscitate or a DNR is a written document that indicates whether you want to be resuscitated if your heart or breathing stops. At Lotus Funeral and Cremation Center and Kitchener Funeral Homes Crematorium, we operate seven days a week and 24 hours a day. Our cre crematorium is located in our building, so we never have to leave our building in cold or bad weather for a cremation. Our crematorium space can have a large group of people to attend the witnessing of the cremation as well. For Hindu families, we provide all the puja items, including fresh leaves and a kund. We have large halls that can accommodate 500 seating to smaller ones. We are centrally located for families in the west and for families in the east. For more information, please contact me from the telephone number on the screen. Thank you for watching and see you next week on Rudraya. Sitaram. Life is beautiful, but death is inevitable. I realized this when my dad passed away. So much pain. And amidst all this, the worry of arranging a funeral. Thankfully, in all this, Kamal stood by me. From the viewing to the cremation, he arranged it all at one location. Once someone is gone, they don't come back. But Lotus Funeral Home knows how to give them a respectable farewell. Lotus Funeral Home. Life must be celebrated. <laughs> I
तेरी तेरी जवानी कुरिए तेरे बस नारनी साधे दिल नाम बुलावे तेरी हतारे नंगी साधे दिल नाम बुलावे तेरी हतारे नंगी नित सुन फैबी नित सुन फैबी लातों को बरी नीति मल माल दी वो ताई दिन न जवानी न रिचली वो ताई दिन न जवानी न रिचली
Ramachandra ke jai. So as we have entered in your home now, the first Saturday of 2020, we here at uh, Maharajra Mandar, we know that you've made many resolutions and we know that you will fulfill. We hope that you will come and join with us in any of the services. We have our family, our extended family, who have been with us through sun, rain, all different torrential weather condition. And so they will all like to wish you a prosperous new year. On behalf of Maharudra Mandir, we want to wish you a happy new year. All right, devotees, God bless. My dear viewers, we are at the end of another segment of Rajaya. I hope you've enjoyed today's first segment for the year 2020. And of course, we look forward to seeing you for one of our services at Maharajadev Mandir. And we have Sunday morning services from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. We have Monday nights, Tuesday nights, Friday nights. And of course, the Mandir is now open every evening from 5 to 8 p.m. So please be sure to visit us. At least we have services on the Monday night, Tuesday night, and Friday nights, And of course, our main service on Sunday morning. So we do hope to see you for one of those services. We'd like to thank our kind sponsors at Maharujadev Mandir, as well as our executive producer, Gari Khan, for making Rajaya possible. Until we meet again next week, have a blessed week. Namaste. Shambhu Mahadeva, Shambhu Mahadeva. Gangadharam Shiva Gangadharam Gangadharam Shiva Gangadharam Gangadharam Shiva Gangadharam